caves, okay? This caves is like 400 million years old. Oh, really? The caves, not the temple, the caves. Uh. The temple is built in 19, uh, sorry, 1891. Okay. So the temple is almost like 200 yeah, years plus. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. 1891. And then the statue, the golden statue that you're going to see now, mm. is a Hindu god which is called Lord Muruga. Okay. And that is the second tallest statue in the world. The first one is 146 uh, feet and this mm. one is like uh, 140 feet so there is no much difference Okay And then uh, at this temple there is mm. this one festival will be celebrated every year It is the very famous one The festival is called Taipusam whereby 300 to 400 thousand people gather there every year Oh wow Yeah uh, Just imagine from here Mm. Uh, literally from this part of KL, people will uh, pull the chariot and then walk all over to the Batu Caves. So it means it's one of the major uh, tourist attractions? It's the biggest tourist attraction in Malaysia actually. Oh, okay. It's a very very important tourist attraction. Oh, that's good. It's like 272 steps up. I think it's safe to be broken. Alright, it's no problem. Because Malaysian street food. <laughs> no, because <laughs> Malaysian, <laughs> if you can manage your time, I'll advise you something. If you want good food, mm -hmm. if you can come back early, yeah. come here to this restaurant because I'll be waiting here. Okay. And I'll I'll tell you what to eat. Ah, I'll right. show you what Indian food to eat. Okay. And come on, I'll snap a picture for you. Alright, ah, that's good. Cool. Okay, if you want money changer, the money changer is here. Yeah, yeah, we'll and I'll money. be waiting for you right here. Okay. 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 And the washroom is like right on the right side. Okay, from the the statue's left side, uh -huh. our right side. Oh, ah. Right. So that's the washroom over there. It's okay. Okay. In total, sir, there's like seven temples here. Yeah. There's two temples at that corner uh -huh. on on the left side. But depends if you want to go and all. There's some. Uh, Peacock show over there. It's not a show mm. where they have some peacocks and it's very beautiful. You can go and check out if you want. Okay. There's these two temples down here and up the cave, 272 steps up, uh. you have like two temples on top. Okay. So it's like a natural cave and then the temple is inside. So that's the most beautiful thing here. Wow. Okay? And come on, I'll take a picture of you. Uh, we'll try here first. Which phone? Yeah. Which phone? Uh, yes, Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. In this video, I will show you some of the caves and temples built in Batu Caves. Two Caves, the complex of limestone grottos in peninsular Malaysia. The caves are one of the country's biggest tourist attractions and are a place of pilgrimage for Tamil Hindus. They are named for the Sungai Batu, which flows nearby and is located 13 kilometers north of Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia. A colossal gold-painted statue of Murugan made from reinforced concrete and 140 feet in height, stands near the base of a flight of 272 steps. As visitors climb the steps, they are frequently accosted by macaques begging aggressively for food. At the top of the steps is the entrance to the largest cave, called Cathedral Cave or Temple Cave. Within it is the largest of several temples on the site.
level on the flight of steps is Dark Cave, which is sometimes closed to visitors. Other caves lie still closer to the base of the steps. Ramayana Cave has an entrance marked with the statue of the monkey god Hanuman, hero of the Indian epic poem Ramayana. The cave itself is lined with dioramas depicting scenes from the epic. The cave villa, which includes art gallery cave and museum cave, features more paintings and statues. The most spectacularly embellished cave in Batu Caves, Ramayana Cave depicts the mythology of Ramayana. It is situated on the end of the steep walls of the hill, about 100 meters on the left, while facing the hills, and is colorfully lit on the inside. The statues are exquisite to look at as they narrate the love story of one of the greatest Hindu scriptures. There is a huge sleeping statue of Kumbhakaran, Raven's brother, inside the cave. Climbing the flight of stairs to the shrine takes one to the naturally occurring Lingam, which is a statue of Lord Shiva. Kumbhakarna, an iconic figure in the rich tapestry of Hindu epics, stands tall not just due to his gigantic size, but also for his complex character. A powerful demon and the brother of the infamous Ravana, he is a mighty warrior of monstrous proportions in the annals of the ancient canon of literature. Despite being a demon, he is often seen as a fearless character, portrayed with a depth that goes beyond his enormous physical form. consequence of a divine curse is one of his most notable traits, lending an unusual tranquility to his otherwise fearsome demeanor. Yet when he awakes, he becomes a force to reckon with, a veritable divine missile on the battlefield. <laughs> 